Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be continuing talking about Omega layouts by making our layout more portable, right? So uh, the idea here is we're going to have a bunch of layouts, or maybe as many layouts as you need, and you can reuse them, you can modify them, you can take ones that exist and modify them, but either way you can drop them into projects and they're still going to work. Right now, that's not going to happen with the layout we created. And that's specifically because we put our grid style sheets in our uh, style.scss. Here they are, defining our actual grid spans. And they're not portable like that. It's just not portable. So how can we change this to make this better? Well, we can define using uh, layout specific style sheets, and that makes things really flexible. Now, it does add more files and it makes things a bit more complex, but in the end, it's definitely worth it because what you're able to do with these layouts. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create some files. I feel like that always happens, right? We gotta create some files. And inside of our SAS folder, uh, we can create a layouts folder. So let's do a new folder and name it layouts just like we did inside of our theme before. And now we're gonna create another folder, one more folder, um, and this is gonna be the name of our layout, which was sidebar. Notice how we have this uh, pattern here of layouts and then name of layout. Now let's create some files. We're gonna create three SAS files. One's gonna be sidebar and then dot layout uh, dot, well, this is just gonna be uh, sidebar.layout.scss. And for some reason I'm typing this instead of saving the file name instead. Okay, sidebar.layout.scss. Perfect. Now we need to create another new file, and this is going to be sidebar, um, and then we can say dot layout dot no hyphen query, because remember we want to have these no query uh, CSS files and with layouts you're gonna have to have a separate no query uh, layout file if you want to do that if not if you don't if you're not using no query just um, just stop and you don't have to create that and now we're gonna have another one and this is going to be theme specific so uh, you can name this really whatever you want I'm gonna call this level hyphen sidebar dot layout dot scss okay so sorry these are long and i want to make sure i'm typing them correctly so now we have these three uh scss files now if we go to our css uh, you'll see that there's a layouts folder and our three css files have been generated now this is important because now we need to tell our theme to use these css files now there's two places we're going to do that and you might be wondering why there's two places. Well, here, let me break it down. We have two different types of SCSS files associated with this layout. We have the sidebar.layout.scss and the sidebar.layout.noquery.scss. And these are the sidebar uh, layout specific uh, CSS files, right? So these files are the ones that are going to move along with your layout wherever it goes. The other one is the level hyphen sidebar.layout.scss. And now this file is actually going to be a, a theme specific uh, CSS for this layout, right? So these can be things like background colors on specific uh, elements basically things that are part of the layout sort of part of the layout but not uh part of the grid you know the display of the layout i guess you could say the layout of the layout um so the the level up sidebar layout.scss is essentially an additional style sheet for your modifications to this layout for this particular theme okay so we need to say in our layout, we want to use these two files. And then we want to say in our theme, we want to use this file. So let's check this out. This is nice and easy. We're going to come to our sidebar layout.ink and we can do another semicolon and type in styles. And in here, we're going to say style sheets and then all 
uh, and then nothing inside of the next bracket equals. And now we're going to give it the path to our style sheets. So we have CSS hyphen layouts hyphen uh, sidebar hyphen. And then we had sidebar dot layout dot CSS. All right, just making sure I spell everything correctly. And now I'm just going to copy this, paste it one below, and change this to sidebar uh, hyphen or was it sidebar dot layout um, dot no hyphen query uh, just like that cool so now our our theme uh, is going to be loading these style sheets only with this particular layout so before we had our grid stuff um, defined in our normal styles right down here but we don't want to do that um, because we need to have these accessible everywhere. So let's grab all of our grid stuff uh, for this particular sidebar theme that we had come up with before. Um, so this should be all of it. Okay, and I'm going to just steal that right out of here, and I'm going to throw it into the sidebar layout.scss. Now there's one thing you should know about this. Before we do anything, we need to include some stuff up top here. And that's because uh, right now, if we tried to compile this, SAS would be like, I have no idea what breakpoint is. So we need to import some stuff. So just like we did before, uh, we can import uh, some stuff. So we need compass, we need breakpoint, we need singularity, and then it's nice to have our variables. Uh, well, we sort of need our variables because that's where tab and desk are. But uh, so keep in mind how we're doing this import. We're importing and we're saying go back to directories, then variables, and then everything in front of it. So dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash variables forward slash, and then we're saying asterisk all up in there. So anything uh, we're globbing the subfolders just like we were before. Now if we save this. Okay, let's save this. This is going to get compiled to our sidebar layout right here. Perfect. And if we come into our page. We refresh. Um, you notice that this is currently not getting the styles. Uh, that's because we've made some changes to our ink file, so we're going to want to clear the cache. But you'll see that's a good sign because it's pulled these styles out of our main style sheet. They don't exist. We refresh. And of course, here is our layout, CSS, just like we had it before. Um, if we do this inspect thing, it's nice and responsive, just like how we made it. Cool. So we now have a layout that is more modular, right? So we can take this uh, CSS file and just throw it into any other project, and it's still going to have the same layout, um, as long as, as it's getting you know the correct variables, right? Okay, so now we need to still do our no query. And for our no query, it's going to be the same as before. We're just going to uh, give it basically the uh, breakpoint no query variables that we wanted. And we're going to say import. Um, and then in quotes, we're going to give the sidebar dot layout just so it re imports this and does its thing. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up here, and in the next video, it's going to be a quick one, and we're going to show you how to have theme-specific style sheets for your particular layout using uh, this level-sidebar.layout.scss. Uh, so check out the next video. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.